Hi, I'm Sister Jillian Morse, and I'm a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In this unprecedented time of sickness and anxiety all over the world, all of us are looking for messages of hope and affirmation. That's why millions of members of our faith and other Christians everywhere are looking forward to what we call General Conference, a two-day spiritual meeting that will be held this Saturday and Sunday. General Conference has blessed the lives of members of our faith for two centuries, and will bless you and your families too. Every General Conference, we, we look forward to messages from our church leaders, uh, messages of Jesus Christ, of, of peace and comfort. And I remember last conference, there was a message about making sure to take time to, to slow down and to make sure to take time to cherish times with our families. In my family, there are a lot of children. There are 17 children. And with that many children, there are a lot of crazy um, arguments or disagreements at times. But as we have listened to um, the leaders at General Conference and follow their counsel, our family has found peace and joy, especially on General Conference weekends. Like many other people, I struggle with anxiety and depression. And about six months ago, I was going through a period of, a stressful period of change. Um, but that was right around the time of General Conference. And one of the speakers talked about how God loves us, especially through our struggles. And I know that as you watch General Conference, you'll be able to find answers to your prayers and be able to feel His love for you. I really love General Conference because it seems like there's always a talk that inspires me to be a better person. When I first became a missionary, there was a talk that stuck out to me and it talked about uh, loving your neighbor and serving others. And ever since that talk, it's inspired me to be a better missionary and to continue to look for opportunities to serve others and to love my neighbor. Last April, my friends and I attended General Conference and we were able to listen to our church leaders. And they said that if we followed the fundamentals of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we'd be able to adjust better to changes in the world. And this has really prepared us for times like these with the coronavirus. So I'm very grateful for our church leaders and their inspiration. A couple of years ago, I was struggling really bad with anxiety and depression. Well, one night I was having a panic attack, so I decided to listen to General Conference. The words that the prophet taught helped me to feel peace and helped me to be comforted. I am excited for General Conference because I know that the prophets will teach us how to have lasting joy, how to have confidence, and how to have peace in our lives. We know that especially in times like these, that following the example of Jesus Christ and listening to His words will bring peace and hope. And as you listen this weekend to General Conference, it will be a great blessing to your family. It can be seen live Saturday and Sunday at 12 noon and 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Pacific. Stream it for free at churchofjesuschrist.org.